Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. The AR-15 has become America's number one rifle and for very good reason. It is, it is synonymous with the U.S. military and our law enforcement officers. Patriotic Americans often own AR-15s in honor of our men and women in uniform. The AR-15 can be customized to fit anyone. I've even seen pink ones for our lady patriots. It has virtually no recoil and is pinpoint accurate at all reasonable distances. Now when I was a lawman in Colorado, the number three cause of homicides was road rage. AR-15 racks can be mounted inside any car and it will keep the rifle secure, out of sight and easily available should you be forced to defend your family. AR carbines are ideal for camping and hiking guns and if they're set up properly they have a really cool carrying handle that doubles as your sights. Now down here in Florida where we are overrun with wild hogs, the AR-15 is a key to a never-ending supply of pork chops and sausage. Oh, God bless America. Now one of the greatest symbols of freedom in the world is the armed American citizen and the AR-15 is America's chosen rifle. No wonder the enemies of freedom are on the warpath to ban the AR-15. The latest fake outrage is that the homosexual Muslim who killed so many at the Orlando nightclub used an AR-15. Maybe, maybe not. History evidence in a long, long list of crime reports tells us that homosexuality and Islam are the two primary factors in the majority of mass murders. But facts like that don't matter to the enemies of freedom. They have an agenda and truthfulness is usually a hindrance to their agendas and so truthfulness is disposable. The saying is so true. If you want to make a conservative angry, lie to him. <laughs> if you want to make a liberal angry, tell him the truth. So here's a wild bill bullet of truth for America. The AR-15 is as much a symbol of American freedom as the flag, the Bible, and the eagle, and we will not surrender any of them to the enemies of freedom. You know, it may well take another war for independence to solve the ever-increasing problem of liberal tyranny in America. And messing with our Second Amendment rights is one sure way to trigger it. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.